Welcome to Three Steps to Sketch for Basic Tangent Graphs. With this method, you will be sketching graphs of tangent like a pro in no time at all. So today we're looking at graphs in the form y equals a tangent bx. So these are basic or simple graphs. If you have any kind of shift on a tangent graph, so whether that's a horizontal phase shift or a vertical shift, you'll actually have to adjust this method a little bit and we will get into that in another video. So if you're interested in that, check that out. For now, let's get started with three steps to sketch a basic tangent graph. All right, step one, find the essentials. This is where we gather all our information. You'll do the bulk of the work here and then the next two steps will just fall into place. So you'll start by identifying A and B, which we saw in the general form of the equation on the previous slide. So that part's easy enough. Then you'll use B to find the period and you'll calculate that pi divided by B. Remember that the period is just the horizontal length of one cycle and it will always be pi divided by B for basic tangent equations. The next thing you want to find are the scale labels. So this is how you're counting to label each tick mark for your axes. And you could do this Pretty much any way you could use any label you wanted but with our three steps to sketch method we're going to make sure that all our important features of our graph line up with our tick marks so it makes our graph nice and clean and really easy to sketch so to find our horizontal scale labels we'll take the period and divide by four we divide by four so that we break our graph into four equal pieces and we'll get into the pattern in our next step Next, your vertical scale labels. Usually you can just take the absolute value of A. Another good way to do the vertical scale labels would be to just count by ones for almost all problems. Okay, and finally, the asymptotes. We're going to find the asymptotes equation, and this is probably, arguably, the most intimidating part. But we have this nice formula that we can use to find the equation for the asymptotes for all of our graph. All we have to do is substitute in b into this equation x equals pi over 2b plus pi over bk and k is an integer if you want more information about this formula and how to use it check out the detailed video on finding the asymptotes of tangent there's also a really nice sort of trick that you can use to find the asymptotes for any tangent equation um, no matter if it's a basic equation or advanced so check out that video if you're interested. If not, here's the formula you can use for every basic tangent equation. And we'll get more into this as we uh, use this method in some examples. All right, so these are the essential pieces of information and we're ready to move on to the next step. Step two is to plot key points. So we really have a pattern because trig graphs are repetitive or cyclic. And so our pattern for plotting one cycle of tangent will be point, point, asymptote, point. So what are those points? The first one for basic tangent graphs will always be at the origin. So you'll plot your first point at zero, zero. Then you'll start moving along your horizontal tick marks. And remember, we very intentionally labeled the horizontal axis according to our period divided by four so that every tick mark will have one of these special pieces of the pattern. So your next point will have an X coordinate of whatever value is at the first horizontal tick mark and the Y coordinate will just be A. All right, the third piece of the pattern is the asymptote and you'll just move over to your second tick mark and we're moving away to the right from the origin and you'll put a dotted vertical line. That'll be your very first asymptote. And then finally, you'll finish the pattern with another point. This point will have an X coordinate at your third horizontal tick mark, and the Y coordinate will just be the opposite value of A. All right, now we can move to step three where we put everything together. So step three is to sketch and repeat. Basically, we'll be connecting the important points from the previous step with what we know tangent curves to look like. 
and then we'll repeat it for as many cycles as we want. So for a quick look at what this sketch would look like, let's pretend we've labeled one, two, three, four tick marks. That'd be the whole period on the horizontal axis. And let's label A and negative A on our vertical axis. So we know that our sketch will look something like this. Let's plot the pattern. Point, point, asymptote, point. And then we were to repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and put the very first point to start the repeat of the next cycle. And the curve should look something like this. So you would just repeat that pattern. So here's an example of a repeat. We've moved four away, so we had enough space for a whole repetition of a point, point, asymptote, point. And that would be another cycle of tangent and you could keep going for however long you needed to. So that's what you need to know for the three steps to sketch method for basic tangent graphs. And as we finish up let's take a look at a diagram that summarizes everything we covered. So remember our three steps to sketch are find your essentials, plot your key points in your pattern point, point, asymptote, point, and finally sketch and repeat. So here's a diagram that shows you pretty much all of that. Um, and this diagram is valid when A is greater than zero. So if it's less than zero, we'll actually have a reflection and this diagram would flip over the x-axis. So check out some of the examples uh, to get practice with that and more. And happy sketching.